blessings, keep up the lessons. This is your brother, you know who, Crypto B Boy. Yeah, I just wanted to talk about this stuff, man, with the recession. <laughs> the games people play. <laughs> Yo, games. It's games, okay? If you don't know already that we are in a recession, that means you don't know that you're paying a lot of high inflation, uh, your gas and all this stuff, even though it went down due to the interest and the, you know, the Fed's trying to increase uh, interest rates so that they can fight, so-called fight, um, you know, um, what do you call inflation? It's playing games. Maneuvering, you know, uh, what's the name? Yellen, I can't even remember her first name. The old lady, you know, forgive me. I, I, I'm not talking about old ladies like that. I'm saying that she's she's an older lady. Yeah, you know, there she's up there. But anyway, um, for the from the treasury, uh, she's you know Janet Yelling, I think it is. She's talking her stuff too, just like with the rest of them. And you know, I just was listening to one of the guys that um, you know pretty much give me a good uh, information about business and the, the markets and analyzation of markets and, and you know business and even the economy and all that type of stuff Beep. how can you do them dude but anyway you know people drive crazy too that's what's going on <laughs> so basically what i'm saying is is that the the recession is here and i'm gonna say it like this this is my point of view I'm not a specialist. I'm not a uh, you know uh, an advisor, final financial analyst, or anything like that. But I know what I know from experience, and 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 I pay bills. I'm a cust I'm a, a consumer, and and so forth. And and I work in the workplace. <laughs> I've been doing this for several hundred. Well, excuse me, not a hundred years. <laughs> I don't know why I started saying a hundred, but I was. I, I mean, I've been here. 52 years of my life so put it this way most of my adult years I've been working since I actually I can say even from when I was a teenager 13 I started working so I know about money I know about things like this and how things move and t paying taxes and dealing with what how the cup you know back in the day I used to listen to the news and those things would come on and you know unfortunately not many people are interested in knowing about the economy, knowing about all these numbers and stuff because it just gets to the point where they feel like they're, it's above their head, you know, and, and I was like that too, you know, this is this is how the society is is kind of conditioned to be that way, to think that way, you know, it's just like they say, put if someone puts money in their, in, in a book, most most thieves are not going to look in a book to try to, because they, they think it's, you know, ah, it's a book, it's something of learning, but you don't, if you don't educate yourself, and become financially literate, not stay illiterate, then you're gonna be in that, that, that condition. You're gonna still be in that state of being. But, uh, but back to the, the guy who uh, does um, uh, Minority Mindset, I can't remember his name. Man, uh, he's, a, he's a Sikh guy, he wears the, he wears the, uh, the turban. Real nice guy, you know, you know. I would say, if you wanna learn about what I just mentioned about finance and and markets and you know investment um he, he's a good guy to go and listen to um his channel is minority mindset so shout out to him you know but i was listening to him and he was saying how different parts of the of um you know there's different sides of of understanding of recession you have it from the governmental point like the like the like the feds and all that and even the president and and Sometimes, even sometimes, the congressmen mention it, and they try to talk like they have some, you know, some knowledge in the area. Of, of and some of them do. Some of them went to school for finance. Some of them, some of them graduated economic, economic, uh, or ec, uh, um, in economics as a major, macro, macroeconomics or micro, whatever. So those areas, those okay, you know a bit about money and how money works and how the system works. So on that end. That's more of the subtle end or the, I think he said light, you know, and then you have the hot or, or no, cold, the cold end. So they're trying to make it subtle. That's we're not in a recession yet. And you had to, you know, like a Janet Yellen, you have to kind of take it as a, you know, it's, it's, it's different now because in our times, you know, you still have 
consumerism is still is still you know flourishing people are still buying you know um, the money is still flowing uh, jobs are still being created you know and like this not in every area not for everybody and that's my point so then they talk about the hot part and investors and people who are seeing that it is and they're making statements that either we're, we're right there at the cusp of a, of a recession or we're or we already in it from my position we're already in it and I could see and I see the signs and I remember from the last recessions we're already in it but certain aspects of the of the infrastructure of the country is may not be in it put it that way if they want to say that but we're already in it you understand so that's my position and you know for you guys if you want to take it your way you know take it your way but um, just know, we're, you know, we got we to gotta really look and pay attention because if you don't think you're in it now, I don't know what you think. And you have to have a lot of bases of proof to show yourself. Don't, you don't have to prove to me. And if you want to comment in a space besides click the like button for this video, comment in a, in a comment space of what you think. That's fine. That's cool. But uh, I believe and from my experience and what I see, What's going on has been going on for a while now. We're in a recession. So bump all the games that the government is trying to play on the cold side. I'm on the hot side, just like everybody else on that side that's saying, yeah, we're already in it. Or it's, it's right there at the cusp, ready to go. So just know. And, you know, just get yourself prepared. Deal with it. You know, um, every day, daily, daily life living. You know, and the best time for those who are past that point of just being a person working check to check and working a job and I'm not talking down about them everybody's in different levels of what they know how to live their life on a financial basis but if you're financially literate and you've gone beyond that and you know about investing you know about being entrepreneurial you know about being a person who wants to do more than with your money then and have more control and more freedom in your in the future and legacy wealth then and these are statements that I've used before in some of my other videos, and you can check them out. But then know that you should be investing still, and you should be doing dollar course saving or, you know, uh, dollar course uh, spending, meaning only buying what you can buy and investing, whether it's stocks, cryptocurrency, which is my, my specialty of my investments, gold, silver, anything of, a, of, of asset, asset, asset class, you know, invest in it. A business, if you want to invest in a business, make sure that business is going to make you money. Make sure that business has some use case. That not to just to say, I want to just be an, well, you can be an artist now and do NFTs, you get, you get rich overnight <laughs> if, you got, if you got those skills. But uh, not the type of artist that you're going to just paint and, you know, do your painting as your hobby, but sell your, sell your art. Sell it, turning into digital and sell it on an on a NFT um, platform. Find out about it. You can even watch some of my videos or other people's videos about how, how to create an NFT if you're an artist. And then you got other areas. Even if you're a, celebrity, a, a person into music and whatever, you can do the same type of stuff. Now that's going on. So technology is taking us to a level where we can do a lot of these things. But anyway, enough said. Don't forget to click the like button, share this video, and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed and get with your brother, Crypto B-Boy. <laughs>